Welcome to McNulty's Book Corral. I'm your host, Thomas McNulty, and today we're talking about Guy N. Smith, Guy Newman Smith. And this is a really fun episode for me to do because I was fortunate to meet Guy in England last year along with many other fans and writers, and it was a wonderful experience, one of the highlights, one of the literary highlights of my literary life, actually. So let's jump into some Guy Guy Smith books. Let's start here. Look at this. Take a look at this. This is a bibliographic reference work by Shane Agnew. I met Shane at Guy's home. Wonderful man. And look at this book. Now, for those of you familiar with bibliographic reference works, this is the best one I've ever seen. And the reason it's so good is because it covers everything. And it does it in such an easy-to-read format with the various editions. What country, what language, cover artwork is reproduced, and so forth. I've never seen a, bi a bibliographic reference work as good as this one. It's just incredible. The amount of work that went into this, you know, tip of the Stetson to Shane for this one. And I love it, you know, and it covers so much. You know, Guy, of course has written thousands, probably thousands of magazine articles, hundreds of books, and everything is in here, everything. Um, again, I'm so impressed by this. So if this is available on Amazon, I think there's a Kindle version as well. So if you're interested in book collecting, you need to have this bibliographic reference work. I've read a lot of bibliographies in my life. I've created a few myself. Nothing comes close to this. What a magnificent work this is it even has it has a lot okay it has everything this is if you're familiar with guy's work there's a lot here so i wanted to give shane a tip there uh <clears throat> tip of the hat for this fantastic accomplishment and buy it add that to your collection <clears throat> now with guy some of you may be familiar with his work uh his earlier work you know night of the crabs and the crabs series and this is a, one of the reprint editions. And then, you know, the series continues to this day. I'm just going to hold up a few books, probably out of order. I didn't look at them and put them in order. Now, here's the, here's the fun part for me. It, it's good news and bad news for me, okay? Especially when you're thinking about what we have here. The, the good news is I have a lot. I'm surrounded with a lot. And I have more in the other room. The bad news is I don't have everything. But... I'm turning that into a positive because thanks to Shane with this bibliographic reference work, it helps me find the editions I wish to collect. I'm probably about, I don't know, I think probably about 15, 15, 18 of his paperbacks that I don't have. Um, so I have some work to do. That's okay with me. I love the hunt. I've talked about it before. There's nothing like it. You know, I've uh, purchased books on eBay. eBay is always a fantastic resource for book collecting. In fact, I bought one of Guy's paperbacks from one of the fans I met at Guy's house after I got back. I thought, I need that edition. So, <clears throat> anyways, that, that is out there for you to consider. <clears throat> now, excuse me. Now, there are several elements in Guy's career that I admire a great deal. So before we get to the spooky stuff, okay, before we get to that, uh, one of the things that I admire so much about Guy is that he is a sportsman. So take a look at this beautiful book that he put out, you know, Managing and Shooting Under 10 Acres. And this is just a few years ago. He put out this beautiful hardcover. That's Guy on the cover, you know, and yes, it's signed. We've talked about signed editions before. And the shooting life, the sportsman's life, is something I am involved in. So is my wife. You know, we're avid gun collectors and shooters. Over here in the United States, we have a sport. It's called cowboy action shooting. I think they have some of that in the United Kingdom, but it's limited. So Guy lives the countryside life. I admire that so much, and more than more than I can express here. I mean, I just think that to do that is fun. So he did a history of the Midland Gun Company, about the shotguns in England. Boy, when I read this, this is a fantastic history on a firearm. I wanted to buy a Midland shotgun. I have I have a couple of shotguns in my collection. I don't have a Midland. 
thanks to Guy, I have that on my uh, in, in my uh, in my gun sights right now. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Uh, anyways, so Guy lives a sportsman's life, and I admire that. As I've said before, these are some of his books relating to the countryside lifestyle, gamekeeping and shooting for amateurs, which also has Guy on the cover. Beautiful, beautiful books, and. You know, this stuff is fantastic. This book, by the way, has one of my favorite photographs of Guy. It's a haunting photo. Look at this. I'm going to try and get that. Look at this beautiful photo of Guy that's found inside this book. Isn't that haunting? At the Welsh border in the Shropshire countryside, obviously near his home on his property. Just a haunting and beautiful photo. I, I love that. So <clears throat> I am I am enamored with what they refer to in England as the countryside lifestyle. My wife and I own property up in nor up in the North Country, uh, a cabin on a lake, and we shoot and hike and fish, etc. So Guy does all of that, and for years he wrote magazine articles in a column for the uh, for the sportsmen's periodicals out there in England. So, anyways, I just wanted to get that out there because when we're talking about the spooky stuff, the horror fiction, and so forth. That's just the tip of the iceberg. And now that I've met Guy and I shook his hand, I can tell you, and everyone will tell you the same thing, he is a true gentleman. He's highly intelligent, highly creative. He lives a life that other writers admire and yearn for. And so, you know, hand it to him, all right? Give the man credit. So let's talk about some of the spooky stuff, all right? So I think his, in addition to the Crabs books, which I held up, his werewolf novels are, and these are, I'm backwards here. These are probably out of order. These are probably, these are his early books, and these are highly collect, collectible and very well known. Excellent books. And then he did uh, Wolf Curse as well. So, you know, you can jump right into that type of thing if you're looking for spooky Halloween stuff. I recently reread Bats Out of Hell. All right. <laughs> you don't want to. Maybe not a, a good book to read during this coronavirus thing with the bats spreading this disease. Uh, you know, it's what it should be. It was a great thriller. Uh, the Resurrected. I love the cover on this too, by the way. Isn't it spooky? Uh, Satan's Snowdrop. What a chilling book this is. So I'm just showing you a few. Um, you know, there's, there's so much here. So much here that Guy has done. And... I'm going to show you the books. Guy Smith, I have to tell you, obviously you're watching this video series. I'm an avid book collector and an avid reader. I read every day. I read a book a week. So Guy Smith is the only author of so-called horror fiction who has written books that have given me a nightmare. I'm, I'm talking about waking up in the middle of the night, sweating in fear, thinking, oh my God, you know, scary. There's a lot of people out there that try, they fall short. This man actually did that to me. So let's take a look. What are his his most frightening books? Well, to me, you know, it's a subjective thing. Everybody has their opinion. So let me show you what, what did it for me. The Wood. Look at this chilling cover on here. All right, isn't it? <clears throat> this is a great book. Whenever there's a bog or a marsh in one of Guy's books, you can expect some weird creatures to, <laughs> to come out of it and come after you, okay? The Island. One of my favorites. Look at that. What a, what a, this is a chilling, chilling, chilling book. Um, this, this, these two books gave me nightmares. Doomflight is underrated, I think. Classic, classic, this is classic Guy N. Smith right here. And The Sucking Pit, I think, is something of a masterpiece. When I talk to Guy, he's quite fond of this book himself and feels that it's an important book in his career. And I agree with him. It's very unusual. The Slime Beast is kind of a, well, it's, you know, it's another one. A creature comes out of the bog, and he does that so well. And then this book. This book was published in the United States, Dead End. This is just a surreal, chilling, haunting, haunting novel. It's one of my favorites. You want to learn how to write suspense. Read this book. Just incredible. And then finally, The Lurkers, which is one of the off titles that people don't talk about a lot, but I think that what he did with this book 
in the manner in which he built suspense as a writer, I look at it and I think that's brilliantly done. So I'm really quite fond of the lurkers. Now, that's just the tip of the iceberg, okay? There's so much more. Speaking of westerns, has Guy ever written one? Yes, and you Guy and Smith fans already know this. So the Pony Riders, like most book collectors, I have two copies. I have my beat-up copy, and then I have my near-mint copy. And I consider this one of my top ten favorite westerns. I really do. Uh, I have great respect for this book. And you know what? I asked him if he would ever write another one, and he's not sure. But, you know, even if he doesn't, we have this. You know, he pro Guy consistently proves that he can work in any genre, any type of... Any type of uh, field in fiction he can pretty much do it this is a great book and to give you an example of what else he can do you know um he has the sabbat series out there that these are just some newer newer ones that are recently released which is about the supernatural uh the occult detective who this these books have been out there for years these are the two latest entries and they're great so he does that and the by the way the werewolf books have been compiled by sinister horror company what a beautiful edition they put out a tip of the stets into the sinister horror company and they also are responsible for the latest sabbat so i'm giving credit to them for publishing some new work by guy uh, and i'm really happy to have these books in my collection but guy can do pretty much anything here you know here's a contemporary thriller that he wrote and he has he has a couple of these on the market as well you know and he can do it as well as anyone uh, his talent is that high really incredible so there's a little bit of an introduction to to guy smith you know we, he has so many other books out there and you can see a couple up here on top of on top of my case of hobgoblin ale <laughs> you know? so i'm telling you i'm not telling you to drink I'm just saying, if your nerves get a little shattered, all right, from reading this stuff, you better have a drink. You might maybe the Hobgoblin or the the Bellhaven Black Stout, and no, they do not know that I'm promoting their beverages, and they are not paying me. I just decided to, you know, I'm I'm house cleaning, <laughs> so all right, I'm gonna have a pint, and I'm gonna read a Guy Smith book. All right, what what else could you do? We're all quarantined because of the coronavirus. So my day is set. I don't know what you're going to do. So anyways, I'm kind of joking around here a little bit. But I really admire Guy. Here's a couple of, uh, to end it up, here's his autobiography. There he is again. And here's some hard covers. Here's The, the Cadaver and then uh, The Plague Chronicles. Two great books. So he has a lot out there. So when you're looking for Guy, go to Amazon first because there's newer material there. And then go to eBay. And if you have to, go to abe.com, abebooks.com, and see what you can find. You can go to Guy's website, guyandsmith.com, and you can order books direct from him. And if you join up for his fan club, uh, he'll sign books for you, and you can order them through the mail. So that's that's a lot of information. You took notes, right? All right, I'm glad you did. Now, what I'm going to do now is, when I was in England, I attempted to take video of Guy giving a little talk. Only a few seconds of that video survived the trip back. I'm going to tag it to this video here, and then I'm going to add some stills at the end of this about that day we all spent at Guy's home in England last September. Uh, so I'm going to throw that out there for the fans that were there. I've already shared these on their Facebook page, but I want to throw some out there for people to see Guy. And uh, the, the young lady, by the way, that you see with Guy in that snippet of the video, her name is Karen Anderson. And Guy dedicated this book to her, and that's why she's there that day. It was a wonderful little experience that she came to talk with him about their friendship and he dedicated the latest his latest novel to her that was released that day so you'll see them come to the door in the video and i hope that i hope i'll be able to tag that on here and then i'm going to add the stills from the day to the end of this video so that you guys can track down this is a chilling book by the way just chilling 
aren't they all? So anyways, you know, this really, this video is really for those of you that are unfamiliar with Guy and you haven't read his work and so forth. So my recommendation for McNulty's Book Corral is to hunt down Guy N. Smith, one of the legendary literary figures of our time and one of the kindest gentlemen I've ever met in my life. Guy, I hope you see this video. Shaking your hand was one of the great thrills of my life, and I mean that sincerely. And so all of you other fine men, you writers and fans that were there, it was an absolute honor to spend the day with you. Your kindness to me and uh, myself and my wife and my sister-in-law was, was exceptional, and you are exceptional men and, and women, so thank you so much. All right, so let's take a look at some photos from Guy Smith. Hunt Guy down. If you have to, <laughs> you know, if your nerves get a little rattled, have yourself a pint. Drink in moderation. Don't overdo it. So, anyways, anyways, thank you very much. Let's watch the uh, let's watch that little snippet of video. Stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, and read books by Guy N. Smith. <laughs> Ten, nine. <laughs> He's a poet, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs>